Jim Corbett was a British hunter who grew up in Kaladungi and Nainital, India. One of his very good friends was Kunwar Singh. Kunwar Singh was the headman of Chandni Chok and a great hunter. When Corbett received his first gun, his friend Kunwar Singh was the first one to congratulate him. He told him that he was no longer a boy but was a man who could hunt as a man as much as he wanted to. Kunwar Singh also told Corbett the importance of learning how to climb trees as it was an important thing for a hunter. So a hunter must not only know how to hunt in the forest but must know how to climb trees. So in order to make this very clear to Corbett, Kunwar Singh narrated an incident to show the importance of knowing how to climb trees from his real experience. Kunwar told Corbett that he once went to the forest to hunt with a friend named Har Singh. As they were walking, a fox crossed their path and this made Kunwar Singh very worried. Okay, now why was he worried? He was worried as it was believed to be a sign of bad luck. So seeing a fox crossing the road, Kunwar Singh did not want to continue with the hunting. So he immediately suggested Har Singh that they should go back as something bad might happen to them. But Har Singh just laughed it off and told Kunwar that he was being childish. And so they continued to proceed with their hunting. And sure enough, they did not manage to shoot anything and finally they decided to go back home. So since the hunting was not a success, Kunwar Singh and his friend Har Singh decided to go back home. And as they were walking, they met a tiger twice. But luckily the tiger was not interested in them. Okay, it ignored them. So it went on its way. But not wanting to go home empty-handed, Har Singh shot some birds which scared the tiger. So the tiger began to charge towards them. So Kunwar Singh and Har Singh both ran with panic and fear. Immediately, Kunwar climbed on a tree and the tiger could not reach him. But what about Har Singh? He was left below as he did not learn how to climb a tree. You know, he did not learn the art of climbing a tree when he was a child. So as the tiger ran towards them, he did not know what to do. So he stood near a tree trying to grasp a branch, okay, trying to hide from the tiger. But unluckily, the tiger reached him and pinned him to the tree, roaring and clawing the tree while Har Singh screamed. Kunwar then shot his rifle into the air, which made the tiger run away. So when the tiger was out of sight, Kunwar Singh came down from the tree and found that the tiger had torn Har Singh's flesh. Now what did the tiger do to Har Singh? He tore his flesh and the wound was so bad that part of his insides, okay, his intestines had fallen out of his stomach. Kunwar Singh did not know what to do. He was panicking, okay, there was blood everywhere. So he just took back all that came out of his stomach and tied the wound tightly. They slowly walked to Kaladungi where fortunately a doctor stitched up the wound for free. Through this bad experience Kunwar Singh had with Har Singh, he told Gorbad that if Har Singh had been given an advice as a boy to climb trees, he would not have suffered so much. So he made Gorbad realize how important it is to learn how to climb trees as a hunter. He also taught Gorbad how to make mental maps of the jungle so that he would never get lost in the jungle while hunting. In the story, we also learn the importance of true friendship. Kunwar Singh being the headman of Chandni Chok 
was a very important and respected person in the little town, and he lived in a big stone-built house. But unluckily, Kunwar Singh fell prey to evil habits and got addicted to opium. Okay, he got addicted to drugs. Korbad often advised him to give up his addiction, but he couldn't give it up so easily. So he started becoming very weak and frail day by day and was about to die due to malaria. One day, Kunwar Singh's youngest son, a young man of 18 years, came to inform that his father was about to die and that he wished to see Korbad before he died. So Korbad rushed to the house and saw him in his servant's house on the mud floor. The small hut was crowded and noisy. It was filled with people. He saw Kunwar Singh's weak body lying on the mud floor, naked and partly covered with a sheet. So Kunwar Singh was lying in a pathetic condition. Not only that, to make things worse, the room was crowded with people. The villagers were gathered in the room. So he was lying there on the mud floor, barely covered. His lifeless arm was supported by an old man sitting on the floor near him. And his fingers were being held round with the tail of a cow. This was a custom followed by the Hindus. Okay, they believed that when the spirit leaves its earthly body, it is confronted with a river of blood on the far side of which sits the judge before whom the spirit must appear to answer for its sins. So the cow's tail is the only way by which the departing spirit can cross the river. And if the spirit is not provided with means of transit, it cannot be granted to go to heaven, but must remain on earth. This is the belief. That is why Kunwar Singh's fingers were tied by this cow's tail. Near Kunwar Singh's head was cow dung cakes burning, a priest chanting and ringing a bell. The room was overcrowded with men and women wailing, He has gone, he has gone. Korbat could not bear all these, so he stopped all the rituals that were being performed and chased out the priest and all the people from the hut, and then put his friend Kunwar Singh on a bed, letting in fresh air into the room. He then gave milk to Kunwar Singh and carefully instructed the eldest son to look after him properly. When Jim Korbat returned the next morning, he was so happy to see Kunwar Singh in a better state. He found him sleeping peacefully. He then made Kunwar Singh make a promise that he would never touch opium ever again. So Kunwar Singh listened to Korbat's advice and never touched opium ever again. He died peacefully four years later.